So, it is too nice today. I was definitely going to work in S today, but um, I wasn't allowed. It's too nice today, so we are going to go to Schwiebbon, which is uh, not Roscommon's highest point, but it kind of would be if, you know, the border was slightly differently drawn. So if you remember, um, Roscommon's highest point is Selna Sagert, which is 400 and something meters tall, but it's on a slope. Like, it's, it's kind of uninspiring because the entire part of it that's within Roscommon is just like a gently sloping down part of another mountain. So, uh, Schliebon is uh, the most prominent mountain in Roscommon and it commands a view of uh, a whole 218 meters or so. Um, Having said that, no matter where we seem to go in Roscommon, you'll kind of look off to one side and you're like, ah, oh, there's she gone. I, am <laughs> I feel like, like almost there's just like other mountains that you just kind of like have also named she gone. Because it just seems to be, no matter where we go, we can always see it. Um, like I'm not saying that you're miss uh, naming the mountain, it is always she gone. I just have a hard time believing that we can always see it no matter where we go. No, the one that you think, the, the one that you, you think I will always talk about is, uh, Schlieffanirian, which oh, is massive. Yes. Um, Schlieffbahn is not that tall, but we can't see it from our house, so okay, there's that. Okay, um, Yeah, no, Schlieffanirian is huge, uh, and like a real big monolith, like a big lump on the yeah. countryside. Yeah, now that you've uh, corrected me, I... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just going to throw that, all that footage away. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're on the way there now, um, so we're just going to have a nice little walk there. It's a quilt cool show zone. There's a wind farm there, um, but there is a bit of forestry and stuff, right? Yeah, I think there's like trails and yeah, I think it's just quite nice. Yeah, so we'll just go have a nice little day and you're coming with. Please excuse my incredible sunglasses. Um, they are though, pretty amazing. Um, yeah, so we just arrived. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you can see the car park behind me, but it's pretty big and it's right underneath a windmill, which uh, has a real sort of Damocles thing with your car, so I hope your insurance is good. But um, <laughs> yeah, um, this is great. There, there are three or four Waymark trails. Yeah. Waymark trails, quote unquote. Loops. Yeah, loops. Um, they're small little quilty loops. Uh, the longest one is six and a half K, the yellow loop, which is what we're gonna do now. Um, yeah, we're gonna go past a viewing platform and I'm not sure if there's that much else actually, but uh, <laughs> That's the thing that we like to Yeah, that's what, we, that's what we like to see. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Cool, it's uh, always exciting to see these things. They, from the drive-in, it looks like they've done a really nice job with the wind farm. In that it's not kind of like open quarry and yeah. hardcore everywhere. Which you get on some other wind farms. Yeah, the, the, each turbine is kind of like spaced out. And yeah. there's trees in between them. And, and there's actually, like there's greenery and that kind of thing. So, yeah. um, which is nice to see. Um, yeah, so, it's the first um, proper walk I think I've been on all year, so it should be fun. My legs are already a bit tired actually. <laughs> Not much of a, a summit. That was the most uh, dramatic summit setup mm. oh, yeah. <laughs> I've seen yeah, in a while. Had, like, the that viewing platform on top of this big mound with stairs and everything. Yeah, it's really cool. I really yeah, enjoyed nice. it. That was quite nice. Yeah, I actually always really appreciate it. Uh, mm -hmm. In lots of places, you see that type of effort put in. Yeah, yeah, it was really fun. Yeah. Um, and uh, as we were kind of walking up when we were looking out, Carl was like, ah, I bet you that's Corn Hill, yeah. the high point of Longford. And he it was, was dead right. An incredible sense of direction that Ellie never gives me any credit for. <laughs> of course I do. You made the maps. Of course. It's true. 
bit of a cheap one. <laughs> yeah, just, just nice, that's all. There's like three car parks here. There's loads. There's probably room for like a hundred cars. Yeah. So if you go the whole way, you kind of get somewhere that's a bit bigger, the easier to turn. Um, and there's also a playground that we couldn't see, but we could definitely hear the children. Yeah. Um, I guess I didn't want to film with the kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so. But yeah, I think it's really nice that Quilter, they, they seem to really, they're trying to instigate like a, a big change. Yeah, in, how in the kind of recreational aspect of the forestry. Yeah, which I think is great, you know? Yeah. Like they have, okay, they've got all of the, the, the trails and stuff that you can yeah. walk, but they've also got all of these like little activity things. Yeah. Um, to do. Way more benches. The, There's so the, many benches. The distance to bench ratio here was, once again. Was ideal, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think it's also reasonably accessible, this whole area. Yeah. Um, as in if you had like you know a, a buggy or something like that yeah. you'd be fairly okay here yeah as long as you're comfortable pushing through like some dense gravel yeah I'm wait for this car. yeah depend like if you have like a rugged buggy or you're used to kind of doing outdoor stuff yeah with a buggy, yeah you'd be okay here for sure um, um i think the trails kind of around the holy cross mm. slash like just off the car park like that section's probably the nicest yeah i agree because it had like you have the least to walk yeah um so and the shorter trails kind of all start from there mm -hmm. so i guess that would be yeah the park to have yeah quite nice certainly the all of what we walked today was forestry road kind of grade um, yeah yeah until the kind of last yeah last 100 yeah 150 200 meters well even. no half a kilometer so yeah okay yeah um but still nice uh the views are great especially yeah. from the holy cross you see both sides yeah yeah so you have a nice 360 degree um view yes. looks great you see really far yeah. um I we could see fun. our house from here <laughs> uh which is nice yeah yeah so i don't know i think it's i think it's a good one um i i don't know actually how it ranks versus satna sagar the actual county high point across common mm. um because Especially Satna Sagar, you can walk the miners' way the whole way up to it. Yeah, we, we took a very nice trail up Satna Sagar. Yeah, Sagret. and that trail is, I would say, for sure nicer than what we walked today. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. But the actual experience of being at the summit of this was nicer. Yeah, it's um, felt more summity. Yeah. But yeah. this summit, or <laughs> Satna Sagar's slopes, Indeed. draped across this summit. Yeah, then you got an ideal, yeah. But no, I, I think it was really nice. And yeah. Yeah, it's a good spot. Um, recommended for a nice sunny day out. Yeah, it keeps chill. Yeah, man, that's a nice car. Yeah. This one is not so nice. No. It's but ours. she gets his places, it's fine. Indeed. She does her best. Indeed. Okay. We, there's no trick point on here, so we didn't get to high five anything. Oh, yeah, no trick yeah. points indeed. I don't know why, because there's like a ton of trick points on the way here. Um, I, I guess it was under forestry, so. And I guess they built like humongous mound. Mm on top of where a trig point would be. Yeah. We kind of stood on top of the trig point almost. Yeah, it, in fairness, that, that was definitely built post needing trig points. Yes. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm directly underneath a wind turbine here, so.
crowds are out here. Well, what else did you do on Sunday?